Elder William Budge rejoiced very much in having the privilege of standing up before the present congregation to make a few remarks. He had been absent three years, which made the present opportunity more precious to him. He had been engaged with a large number of faithful elders in preaching the gospel in the old country. His experience abroad had confirmed the truth and the power of the gospel on his mind. A great change had taken place in the old world among the professing Christians since he was there before. There is less confidence among them in the churches to which they belong and in each other. A trust or confidence is reposed in scarcely any of creed or society. They have systems of religion, but they are simply forms. He rejoiced, therefore, in the gospel of Jesus Christ, which brings solid comfort and joy to the believer, which is in striking contrast to the empty and powerless forms of the religions of the age. He spoke of the abject slavery and poverty among the masses of the people abroad, and the excessive wealth of the favored and aristocratic class. He then spoke of the labors of the elders, who are now sent out to warn the nations and calling people to repentance. He felt truly thankful for the aid and counsel of the First Presidency, which he received while abroad, and for the faithful elders they had sent out to assist him in the preaching of the gospel. He bore testimony that this is the work of God. His kingdom is set up, his servants hold his priesthood, and no power on earth can stay its progress. It will increase in power and might as it has done, but more abundantly. He rejoiced in this work which he knew to be divine, and prayed that God would continue to inspire all his servants to build up his kingdom on the earth.